Remember when Johnson & Johnson was deemed the like Slytherin of the vaccines? <laughs> Remember that? Because eight people got blood clots, meanwhile every woman on birth control is like, yeah, it gives me heart palpitations, sure. <laughs> but Brian says condoms make him cheat, so fuck it, okay? <laughs> That's an impression of my whore sister. That's who that is. <laughs> she is a whore, you don't know her, I'll tell you. <laughs> Speaking of abortions, she called me and she was like, Jordan, I'm pregnant. And I was like, don't worry about it, babe. I'll come upstate, we'll open a bottle of wine, have an abortion party, as per you, right? <laughs> and she goes, I'm keeping it. And I, dude, the first words out of my mouth, I was like, in a jar or what? <laughs> I was like, they don't let you do that, there's no way. <laughs> I had a guy come inside me recently, that was scary. Have you guys had this happen? No? <laughs> this fucking idiot. I'm fucking, I'm 31 years old. When somebody gets close, I'm like a trained house cat. I roll over, I show my belly, I'm like right there, that's where that goes. <laughs> <laughs> this guy came inside me and I was like, yo, what happened? And he goes, I don't know, I guess he got too excited. I was like, please don't talk about this, like your kid threw up in my Honda Civic, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm done with sex, though. I'm off sex for now. I just went through a breakup. Anybody else? No, me neither. <laughs> no, I'm doing okay. I'm all right. I put a sweet potato in the oven last night for like eight minutes or so until it was lukewarm, and then I took it out and I held on to it until I fell asleep. So <laughs> we're doing good. <laughs> Dude, I go through so many breakups. My life is like organized by like epochs of men. It's like biblical at this point. It's like Matthew 2013. <laughs> Thou shall not lay with a man who yells, let's go when he comes. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I gotta chill. You know what's fun? You know how when somebody dumps you, all your buddies start coming in with mental diagnosis? of the person, you know what I mean? All my friends are like, he's a narcissist with Asperger's. <laughs> I'm like, what does that say about me, dude? <laughs> what do you think, I'm just hanging outside of special needs courses? Luring these guys in, dangling Nintendo Switches in front of my pussy? Fuck you. <laughs> I do go through a lot of breakups. I'm difficult to date. I, was, I intimidate men. I'm a comedian, I used to be a contractor. It's a whole thing, okay? <laughs> I was raised by a pack of lesbians. That's why I'm like this, all right? <laughs> I've tried dating women a million times. I can't do it, I'm too OCD. The hottest thing a woman can say, like I'm so wet, I'm like, well, clean yourself up, you animal. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I do have OCD, I bet. I tried taking Prozac for OCD. Have you guys tried Prozac? No, you live in California, fuck you. <laughs> I live in New York, okay, we're all on it. You can't come on Prozac, it's impossible, all right? You get to the top of the roller coaster, you gotta go back down the way you came, it's a nightmare. <laughs> I was on Prozac for OCD, but I couldn't come, so I got off Prozac and now I can come, but I have to do it in like multiples of three or my mother will die, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm in therapy. Are you guys in therapy? Do you guys do therapy here? Nice. Okay, I hate it. I hate my therapist so much. She's 14 years old, I want her to die, okay? I hate her, you know why I hate her? Every time I log onto the Zoom therapy thing, her hair is always soaking wet. It drives me insane. She's like, how was your weekend? I'm like, good, how was your fucking shower? What are we doing here? <laughs> she's also way younger than me, so I've seen way more shit than she has. I've made her cry way more than she's seen me cry, I swear to God. There was a point a couple weeks ago where I was describing my childhood and I swear to God, she almost said the words, you know, you need to get help for this, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is hard. It's hard to date being a female comedian because boys are always worried that we're gonna roast your little peens on stage. You guys hate that. <laughs> but we do that off stage as well. I can draw your dick by looking into her eyes. You understand that? <laughs> It's true, we love to do it. You guys hate it, I know you do. I'm pretty sure that's how witches got started. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think some dude in the 1400s pulled his dick out and was like, what do you think? And she was like, are you fucking serious, dude? And he was like, burn her! <laughs> that's why they think they fly around on broomsticks because she was just with her buddies being like, it was this skinny, I swear to God, it was this skinny. <laughs> anyway. I'm, I think I'm gonna chill on dating for a while. My therapist said I should. I hate her, I hate her so much. You know what she said to me? This bitch, okay? <laughs> she goes, okay, just imagine. She's looking at me, she's nine years old, right? <laughs> she's got the mascara, she, bing, bing, you know what I mean? She goes, Jordan, I think you have abandonment trauma. And I was like, what? 
And she goes, and I think you should consider seeing a more experienced therapist. I was like, you fucking butthead. That's the definition of triggering, right? That's like if a crazy person comes into your office and you go, hey, I think you have schizophrenia. And they go, what? And you go, nothing. Did you hear something? I didn't hear anything. <laughs> she, says, she got mad at me the other day because I jumped on the apps right after the breakup. Do you guys have Hinge out here? Do you? Hinge sucks. I hate Hinge. It's where all the woke cowboys go. You know what I mean? They all have like, don't tread on me snake tattoos, but then they're like, <laughs> but then they're like this is my cat Malcolm X or whatever the fuck. <laughs> And this guy that I matched, he was convinced I was a lesbian. What happened, he saw my truck, okay, I'll give him that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that this guy, he saw my truck and he goes, why do you have a truck? And I was like, I used to do carpentry for a living. And I swear to God, he goes, like Jesus? <laughs> I was like, more like Jesus, if I'm being honest. With you. <laughs> All right, so he sees my truck. There's tools in my truck. I think my bowling ball is in there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so what happens is, all right, full disclosure, I was on mushrooms for this date, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna be upfront with you guys. And he wrote that he was 5'9 in his bio, but he was really 5'6 or under, okay? <laughs> And I'm fine with a short king, but I was on drugs, right? So as he was walking up to me, I was like, is my depth perception off? I was like, shouldn't he be getting bigger as he approaches me? Okay. So me and this guy, we sit down and we're talking. I'm on mushrooms, he's short as hell. And he keeps talking about the Venice Biennale. Do you guys know what that is? Okay, me neither, my people, all right. But I had heard of the Whitney Biennial that happens in New York, and he's like, the Biennale, the Biennale, the Biennale, and I was like, dude, are you trying to say the word biennial by any chance? <laughs> and he goes, that's in English, in Italian, the word is Biennale. The mushrooms hit me so hard, I started flop sweating, and I was like, have we been speaking Italian this whole time? <laughs> I was like, I don't know any Italian. <laughs> I did fuck that guy though. <laughs> you know what happened with that guy? Okay, all right. <laughs> so me and this guy, we get into my truck, we go back to his house, okay? And we're hooking up, we're having smashy sex, right? Do you guys know what smashy sex is? All right, in your 20s, sex is all about seamless transition changes, right? It's like we went from the bed to the carpet to the desk with his dick in me, the it's like a community play, all right? <laughs> In your 30s, you don't care about any of that. You're just smack, you don't care, okay? You, you ever watch a boxing match or an MMA fight? You know that moment in boxing when they're beating the shit out of each other and then somehow at the same time, they both get really tired out and just simultaneously agree to lean on each other for a minute or two? You know what I'm talking about? It's the cutest thing I've ever seen, but that, that is 30 and up sex where you're like, I'm gonna rip you apart in a minute, dog, but you gotta take my weight, brother. You gotta hold me up. You gotta get it. It's because your priorities change, right? In your 20s, you care about like what your tits look like on top. And once you hit 30, you're like, dude, just hit my cervix so hard that I forget my father's dying, okay? <laughs> okay, so what happens is we're having the smashy sex, right? And then my knee goes right through his drywall. Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> it's happened before, it'll happen again. <laughs> And I was like, very chivalrous. I was like, don't worry about it, buddy. I have spackle in my truck. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes, he goes, I'm sorry. I just feel like I need to check in really quick. Are you sure? Are you sure you're not gay? And I immediately drop into the deep coach's stance and was like, all right, listen up, little guy, okay? <laughs> I was like, I just had your dick in my mouth for like 10 minutes, right? And he was like, yeah. I was like, okay, you should take a look around. And he was like, why is that? And I was like, cause you're the one fucking the handyman, okay? Are you sure you're not gay, motherfucker? All right, I love you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Have a good day.